Hi guys, today I want to share a review on our teaching textbooks. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Emma. In here, I like to talk anything that has to do with homeschool, sprinkle a little bit of motherhood and lifestyle. Today, I want to share with you a review on our teaching textbooks. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do it. Click that notification bell so you don't miss every time I upload a video. As well, I would like to invite you to my Instagram page. In there is where I share everything that happens here in our homeschool. If you're looking for ideas, that's a good place to get them. But today, I want to share a review on our teaching textbooks. I express already a little bit how we were feeling about teaching textbooks. We still had to complete certain lessons he's done already. So I am ready to give that review. You guys know already, I have shared previously that I am no longer going to be using teaching textbooks, but I just want to give you as well the pros and the cons. So you guys can make your own opinions and your own decisions and know if it will be good for your kid, okay? So let's just start with the pros. Teaching textbooks is really good if you are a homeschool mom, likes to do car schooling, always go on the go because you can use it with different electronics. You can use it with the tablet, you can use it with a computer. So it's very dynamic in that way. I think it's very important to know that if you are a busy mom, you're constantly on the go. If you work outside, it's very convenient because you don't need to have internet in order to be able to be using the program. So I will say that is a pro. Next thing is that teaching textbooks has a system where they send you every time an email letting you know how your kid is doing with the program. I consider that as a pro, especially if you're a very busy mom, you are not able to constantly go through the system and just check how your kid is doing and receiving those messages, those emails, I think is very beneficial. So that'll be a pro for me. It's the fact that it has some uh, stickers and just images that serve as an incentive for the kid to continue with the program. It's very colorful. That is another pro as well. The fact that it just it has an explanation of what they have to do. They have as well a little notepad where they can do the equations. If they need extra help, they can just go there and try to solve those problems and then being able to answer the problem. So those for me are pros. Something that I consider are cons is number one, the fact that sometimes the system glitches too much and that just interrupts the flow. Let's give an example. Sometimes my son is doing a lesson and it starts glitching. And when he restarts the program all over again, and that just caused for him to start completely from the beginning with the, with the lesson. Sometimes it's just required for him to start completely with the lesson because it didn't save anything. It just erased all the information that he already did. So I consider that a very important and one of the reasons that it just help us make the decision and not to continue with the program as well if your kid doesn't have the maturity level to do it independently sometimes i notice my son is keeping on the explanations and it just creates confusion i notice as well that he sometimes was not uh, understanding very well the explanation he needed a little bit more and even though the program has a part where you can just look it has an ebook where you can just look to those lessons and you can help your kid by explaining since it's just giving exactly the same explanation I feel like it's not that helpful so that'll be a count for us as well I just noticed some gaps with my kids I noticed that when it comes to to touch with anything that has to do with time. There were certain uh, lessons that I thought should have been expanded or at least since it's a spiral program, I feel like it passed a really long time until they went and reviewed that all over again. At some point as well, didn't work with the stickers. It was not, it was not enough. He needed like something else. And it just didn't work for us. It, I just while I feel that 
the fact that they send the emails to you, that you get that information, the fact that the kid can work independently. If your kid has the maturity to be able to just work independently with a program, I think that will be a pro. But if it's not, I consider that a con. I always had it to go towards my kid and make sure that he was listening to the explanations and even like that sometimes it was just not enough and there were uh, certain things that I wish the program talked about it or just explained a little bit better and I noticed that the explanation was not there and some concepts of math were not there and I think that that is the reason why I decide not to continue with teaching textbooks. I think that as a supplement will work very well and that is my opinion from what I just noticed here with my kid. I think as a supplement will work very well. But as a main program for math, I consider that is lacking a little bit. I know that for some people they might disagree because it's working very well for them. but re Remember that we are just talking about how it's been working with my family. I am just sharing this with you. So you're just paying a little bit of attention if you're working with teaching textbooks and you're making sure that your kid is getting the information the way they should be getting that information, that they understand everything that they are going through with the program. I am not saying that the program is not good. I am not batching the company. This is how it works for my home. This is how it works for my kid. And I just want to share this in here in case you're looking for uh, math programs. I think that when it comes to math, sometimes it's not enough. And I noticed this with a few programs that we have tried. All of them obviously have a way to explain things different, a different method of explaining math, a different method of doing the problems and doing things. And I think that sometimes having two programs that they can just complement each other, I think that's the best answer. But as always, I am just here to share with you uh, how we went with the program, just giving you this review. I hope you find it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you then, bye-bye.